you rode in a plane before. Some of you, I, I, some of you have. Some of you maybe haven't. But if you haven't, I'm telling you right now, you're not missing out on much. Because what we're about to see here is what will maybe make you never ride in a plane ever, ever, ever. You'd rather drive 20 hours, 30 hours. You've been forewarned. You guys are going to enjoy. So sit back and relax. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit like, and get your plane ticket ready because we're taking off. <laughs> now boarding. And uh, we got about eight and a half hour, nine hour flight across the pond to old Amsterdam here. And your uh, person's doing this. How comfortable do you feel in that flight? That's disgusting. I don't even care about, um, you know, the smell that may come off there. They may have clipped their toenails before they came on. That is just disgusting. Gotta say, though, they're pretty flexible. I'm not flexible enough to do that. Dig in there nice and deep like what kind of gold you pulling? Is it the green gold, the yellow gold, the brown gold, the red gold? Jeez, dude. Go to the bathroom if you're digging that deep. That's a knuckle, man. Can't even get the fingernail. Can't even see that fingernail in there. Yet you got to get it out of there. But jeez, dude. Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> First class, they said. Well worth it. And then you get this person behind you who's flown first class every day because that's what they do for work. Maybe they're a mechanic. I don't know. But um, that happens, dude. I'm going to accidentally vomit from being sick, and it's going to be back at you. Um, you don't do that. Common courtesy? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> this one I can get behind, dude. A little hammock that is probably, uh, you know, you bundle it away in a nice little pop can size little bag in your backpack your backpack is did you ever get stuck in an airport for long periods of time you maybe you miss your flight whatever it is dude sleeping there is sucks and it's gross this guy modern solutions for modern day problems right here <laughs> you know kids living his life man let him be as long as they're not plopping that thing up in the middle of the aisle on the way there go ahead dude rip it and, dude, the kid's not crying. What You got to give and take here, especially with a kid, you know? You, you want him crying all the time? You want him puking? Um, you name it, dude. I'll, I'll take this all day. This is awful. You get the bill back from American Airlines saying uh, property damage, a.k.a. your kid, put every sticker he owned in his little backpack on the window as a memory. Will it come off easy? Nah, you know, who knows? Some of those stickers do. Some of them don't. But um, you got to watch your kid, man. You can take a nap, yes, but keep an eye on those kids. <laughs> I'm all for, you know, bringing your own seat. But I just feel like this thing isn't going to fold up nicely. What, a germaphobe you can't sit in the airport? The airport seats? I mean, they're really not that bad. You, you always see a cleaner around. They're not terrible. To me, I'd rather sit in the, you know, the dusty seat whatever then carry around an extra bag who knows though maybe he just throws it he buys it 10 bucks clearance throws it away on his way on the plane leaves it by the trash i don't know but um if you're doing that it's acceptable you're bringing it on the plane man better be going camping hope that's not on the plane dude frick no way that i think it is on the plane what do you think you're doing, dude? Just because your seat doesn't recline back far enough doesn't mean you can just pop a squat in the emergency exit lane, grab your coat, and just nap one out. I don't know. Anybody working the airlines here? Is this acceptable? Is this uh, better than the guy vaping in the bathroom? Is it better than the baby crying the whole eight-hour flight? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me you're, uh, you had a rough trip without telling me you had a rough trip. Dude. I don't even care, man. I will take the floor. You take the seats. I'm over it, dude. I got to get to bed. I just need to get home right now. It's always a buddy, dude. Every trip you go on, there's a buddy that takes the vacation too far and end up like this. Not good. <laughs> no, dude. No. You didn't even have the decency to dump the potty chair, man. Jeez, dude, this ain't your house. It's a freaking airplane. What, are you going to call the flight attendant over to do that? Like, I, if I was her, I wouldn't, him, I wouldn't do it, dude. You can give me a $50, $100 tip. 
clean up your own kids pee, all right? This one, uh, right now, this one might take the cake for the most ridiculous thing we've seen, but I don't know. Not even halfway there yet, might see better. Oh, oh, dude. Spiders, you know what, whatever. i not the biggest spider guy, but if I'm trapped on a plane and there's a spider on it, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Dude, I'd rather have a mouse. I hate mice, but I'd rather have a mouse on there than a freaking spider. You don't know if it had eggs and babies and next, you know, maybe you caught one, but dude, if it had babies, there's a thousand of them on that plane. Like you might as well drop uh, 20 of those little insect bombs in there 10 different times to just reassure us that this thing is off there. <laughs> what? What'd you do? Hop it. Is there a, a pool in the, the airport we don't know about? It's not the worst, but you're drinking the, your kid's juice box. No F's given. I guess after you become a parent, dude, there is no F's to give. It's done. It is. Uh, it's over. After that... Mountain Dew sweatpants and the Cookie Monster t-shirt come out to play and you're the person of Walmart. Now the person on the plane. But what are you watching, dude? What are you watching? Gross. Disgusting. Your foot? You know, whatever. Your foot is your foot. Like, airing out your foot, still gross. But uh, those shoes are six months plus old. Dude, your shoes smell so bad. I don't care who you are, dude. Your feet just naturally put a nasty aroma in those shoes and you're airing it out for everyone to smell get out of here dude buy everyone a, a round of root beer on this guy that's what you deserve you got the little bell in the bar that if you ring it you got to buy the whole bar around while well, you air your feet out in the airport and the airplane you got to get everyone something from the snack cart no limit <laughs> dude we already took off man what are they gonna do stop the plane they really going to stop the plane because I took my shirt off? Love to see him try. Love it. Jim Bros. No filter. Here you go. Here's the proof that uh, dude, Jim Bros are everywhere, man. You got to be careful. <laughs> dude, I need to stretch, man. I just need a quick one. You know, maybe did stretch one out, but I doubt they clean the carpets too often on these airplanes. I can't imagine in between flights that a janitor crew is coming in there ripping the carpet and uh, making it smell all fresh even if a kid pukes dude i bet they drop the sand on there and that's it that's all you get you don't get a fresh carpet smell every single flight maybe even every year maybe it's like an every five year maintenance thing i don't know but i ain't trusting that ground man even if you need to stretch the back oh jeez the worst part about these feet ones, man, I feel like a lot of them are first class. So you're paying the extra money for the extra room and you get just jerk offs, dude, that are out here. Just have a picture of my feet. Enjoy my feet. Yeah, can, can I get a foot rub too on there? Huh? Is that part of the plan? Like, dude, I would be so upset. I would like, you don't do that. Come on, man. I don't even care if it's your own grandma. Stretching. To hop into line. To wait to board my plane. It's a good stretch though. Good form. You know, get the hip flexors ripping before you have to sit down for the seven, eight hour flight across the pond. Uh, maybe it is only an hour puddle jumper flight. Either way, stretch it out. Get in there nice and deep like. And uh, yeah, it should be good to sit down at least for a movie. Oh, de <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Promise, this is not me. I love my dill pickle seeds beyond belief. Like... Go through two bags a day if I could, but um, you got to dispose of them, man. And this is not the way to dispose of your freaking seeds. It's you, somebody else's problem. Dude, this is your problem. I, you should get like a $500 charge for that crap. Next flight delayed two hours for cleaning. <laughs> dude, we're going to freaking Cancun, man. Freaking dude, I'm only 18, but I'll show you how to drink a beer. Every kid going to Cancun is like, it's like, dude, whatever, man. Wait till you're 24, 25. That's the last thing you even care about is going out with the buddies having a, a root beer. It's like, no, nope. I got work in the morning. I got stuff to do around my house, uh, kids to watch, you know, maybe take your dog on a walk, whatever it is. You're like, dude, I do not want to do that. And especially when you look at this guy, then you don't really want to do it at all because you don't want to look like this dude at all. 
<laughs> dude, I don't know. Maybe if you like the feet, dude, go on these airplanes. They're perfect for you. Grinding away your freaking toenail on the plane. You can't wait till you get off in the hotel lobby. I, I'm. You couldn't have did it before you left at home on your couch as you're packing your bag. You had to do it in your seat for all to see. <laughs> Comfortable. Not at all. Love to see where your body doesn't hurt when you wake up from this. For surely your neck, your lower back. Um, dude, your hips even. You're going to get out of there and waddle down to your baggage claim. Or heaven forbid you got a, a freaking... Can, you got to make another flight after this and you have like 10 minutes to get there. You're not getting there. Uh, dude, I'm uncomfortable looking at this for you right now. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's a big one too. Oh, shoot. If you got no one in front of you, I don't know. It doesn't really look like there's anyone in front of you. So I guess you pick the one flight to do it on that it's acceptable. But um, now that's a full flight, dude. Oh, man. I don't know about you guys, but I hate flying the way it is. I hate traveling. It's a pain because you're dealing with so many people that give no Fs to everyone around them. And it's like, I'm not asking you to be best friends, be my best friend. I'm just asking you for the decency to recognize me and go, yes, there are other people out here on this plane. It's not just me. It's not my plane. <laughs> I need to get out of the seat, Ma. All right, I've had enough of the crying, dude. Get down there and uh, wiggle your way out of this one. Flying with a baby isn't terrible for the most part. You get some bad situations here and there, but usually it's 10, 15 minutes of crying done. Then they sleep or they cry for 10, 15 minutes. They puke and then they're good. That's just kind of how it works. But you do get special treatment. You kind of, usually you get the... Uh, a little bit of special treatment with a baby. People are like, all right, dude, get this person through here. No waiting lines, really. <laughs> dude, she's got a fat ring, though, man. Look at that sucker. Thing is like a uh, crystal glass on Christmas. And those nails, dude, those nails don't look cheap. What you reaching behind you for? Wait, what's behind there? Who's, if it's your uh, significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, freaking grandma friend, I don't know. <laughs> Ah, dude, this one isn't terrible. I, you, it, sure, gross, whatever, but, dude, you, they make you put your bag anyway in the front, front seat of you, whatever it is. It's like there's no room, dude. People put it underneath your seat that are behind you. You're kicking their bag. It's like, this person just, you know, didn't want to flush it down the freaking toilet in the bathroom, in the airport bathroom, because, dude, you clog it, man. Then no one gets to use the bathroom. <laughs> carry on this is what he used his carry on for and um i don't know did it keep the kids away from you did it make somebody not want to sit by you because there's some people out there dude chucky they don't want nothing to do with it terrifies them it's like chucky is worse than annabelle uh i don't think that but some people do but you got to bring a buddy with you and maybe this is your buddy the good guy <laughs> maybe double look here i was like what what there is a right way and a wrong way to carry your beige colored neck pillow through the airport. And this one did. I'm like, no, no way. Yeah, it'll make you double look. Hopefully she she understands the joke. Maybe she saw this afterwards, posted on the interweebs and loved it. You don't see her face. So that is a good thing. <laughs> is that Kevin Malone? Freaking who ripped a toot, dude? SBD, silent but deadly. You drop one of those suckers in the airport. Sometimes it's enjoyable to sit back and just wait for somebody to start asking their friends around, dude, you rip, you get one out and you just sit back and like, dude, that's my brand. That is all me. Didn't bring a blanket. No problem. Got my hair works. It's not like anyone wants to talk to you anyway, because I don't want to talk to anyone. It's even the headphones. I don't even care if they're dead, whatever. Put those things in, shut the eyes and make it look like uh, you're busy with something. Because, dude, I, nobody... I ugh, Do not want to sit there and talk to anyone. <laughs> How do you forget your teeth? Isn't that like one of the things you can't forget, dude, is your teeth? 
get home and like, yeah, I lost my glasses, lost my contacts. People have multiple pairs of contacts and glasses. I don't know anyone that's ripping like my daily teeth, my work teeth. You never hear of anyone with that. <laughs> Sitting next to this dude. This is definitely on the way home from Cancun, man. This ain't no Ibiza. This ain't no New York, California, Florida back home trip. This ain't Ireland. Ain't Canada. This is 100% for maybe a cruise. I should say it. So 50% Cancun, 50% cruise. He's got the gut that tells me, dude, this is a cruise dweller. Can't pass up that all-you-can-eat freaking buffet on the cruises. Ah, oh, dude. Hope that's in the airport and not the plane because somebody is forcefully going to sit there if that's the plane seat. I mean, the airport, there's plenty of seats or you can just stand. That, though, is ish, dude. I don't care. Yeah, dude, there's only a couple scenes that could be in. It's not good. Any of the options. <laughs> snip, snip, snip. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I don't know if I'd put gum in there. You know, that's a pretty bold move. Pretty dick move for them to put their hair there, but um, definitely maybe that Diet Coke might spit up a little bit. We share the space. You don't understand that? Well, guess what? You will next time, and I'm going to make sure of that. You can't just be ripping your hair in front of somebody else. Come on. <laughs> Hero passenger at Chicago Airport. That's a big thing, dude. At least the hammock. The hammock is definitely folded down to like a pop pop can size. The airbed, dude, that is a pretty big thing to be carrying. Pretty heavy. Bulky. Um, but, dude, you got to lay over overnight. Mine as well. Because you ain't sleeping anywhere. And in the Chicago Airport, that thing is it's a gross place, man, to be stuck. I've been there. Not fun. <laughs> What? I, I, I can't wait to get old for many reasons. And the, the filter of no, I don't care what anyone thinks is one of them. But this guy, when it comes to traveling and in an airport, you got to have some filter, just a little. I just don't get who's taking their shirt off. Never been hot in the airplane in my life, dude. It's always freezing up there. And this guy goes, nope, it's freaking roasting, dude. No shirt. I don't even care about the service. And I surely don't have shoes on. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, you need that little tool that hooks onto your toe and you can bend it back straight. Um, or maybe you shouldn't just wear sandals. Because now if somebody took a picture of your foot, first they maybe tried to sell it. It didn't work. Um, and now you're the lady on the plane. The dude on the plane that uh, had the nasty feet. But all right, all right, that does it. That does it for this uh, airplane video. You guys riding airplanes after this. If you've never ridden an airplane and you saw this, will you ride an airplane? Because, dude, I've ridden airplanes, and even watching this, it's like, dude, I avoid that place at all costs. But you know what? That does it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And as always, want to keep coming back for more because you never know what's going to be next. You're on the D channel